North Korea has reportedly fired a ballistic missile off its east coast. South Korea's military says the North fired an unidentified ballistic missile towards the East Sea, referring to the Sea of Japan. A Japanese media citing its Coast Guard also reporting that a projectile, which appeared to have been fired by Pyongyang, landed outside Japan's exclusive economic zone. This is the latest in a series of such tests by the North this year. Uh, let's get more from uh, Lim Yong Suk. She uh, joins us live from Seoul. Uh, Yong Suk, what message is this uh, 16th missile tested after South Korea's new leader just taking over sent? Well, it seems like North Korea is going to continue with its missile tests. And, you know, I think especially since it knows that this newly elected President Yoon song yeol is expected to take a tougher stance against North Korea than his predecessor, um, Moon Jae-in. But, you know, it does come on the same day that North Korea said that it had its first um cases of the COVID-19 pandemic. And so many of the experts that I had spoken to earlier has said that they didn't think that North Korea was going to be carrying out missile tests or carrying out any kind of tests um, in the coming days or weeks because North Korea would have to focus on trying to control this um, pandemic. But it seems like North Korea um, is still going, is going ahead with this missile test. And, and some experts had even said that perhaps because the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un wanted to distract the of its people to the COVID-19 pandemic, it is very possible that North Korea may uh, want to carry on with its missile test to show to the North Korean people that the North Korean leader, um, Kim Jong-un, was focused on developing uh, its um, nuclear weapons, as the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, had earlier said. Now, the South Korea's um, newly elected President, Yoon song yeol um, did say that he was open to dialogue with North Korea if North Korea um, agrees to denuclearize. Um, but apparently that doesn't seem to be the case right now. The um, newly elected the National Security Advisor to President Yoon song yeol did hold a meeting. And following that meeting, the presidential office did condemn North Korea. Now, interestingly, uh, this test coincides with uh, North Korea reporting its first ever COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, drastic measures already in place, do you know? Well, that's what we're hearing. I mean, this is the first time that North Korea has talked about this, but it seems like North Korea has is going to be ordering or has um, ordered a lockdown. And, you know, this could be the case because this is something that apparently even its North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, is taking very seriously. North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un held a crisis Politburo meeting after the country reported its first ever case of COVID-19. It wasn't clear how many cases were reported, but according to the KCNA, samples taken from patients sick with fever in Pyongyang coincided with that of the Omicron variant. At the meeting, Mr. Kim apparently called on all cities and counties to thoroughly lock down their areas, saying the goal was to quickly cure the infection in order to eradicate the source of the virus spread. He said the country with a population of 25 million would overcome the sudden situation and win victory over the virus. North Korea until now had not admitted there were any COVID-19 cases, although many experts have been skeptical since most of its people were believed to be unvaccinated. Experts say if the outbreak is not controlled quickly, it could further hurt North Korea's economy, which is already badly hit by years of sanctions by the United Nations and close borders with its own major trade partner, China. South Korea's newly elected president, Yoon song yeol who is expected to take a tougher stance in North Korea than his predecessor, Moon Jae-in, said on his inauguration day that he was willing to help North Korea's economy and its people if it takes the path of denuclearization. And at a National Assembly hearing on Thursday, his unification nominee, Kwon yong se also said that the South Korean government was willing to hold dialogue and provide aid. 북한이 어려움에 처한 부분에 있어서 우리가 적극적으로 그 도울 위향이 있다라는 정도로 말씀을 드리겠습니다. 예, 전적으로 동의를 하고 이미 이에 관련돼서는 우리 통일부의 관련 예산까지 편성되어 있는 걸로 알고 있습니다. 그래서 그 협력 방안을 적극적으로 검토를 하겠습니다. North Korea had earlier rejected pandemic related help from South Korea.
Well, now that we know that North Korea has its first COVID-19 cases, you know, it remains to be seen whether North Korea would be willing to receive help from South Korea. Im Young-suk in Seoul, thank you.